when I was the coach for the Jacksonville snowboard team, I can easily remember Travis. He was always one of those kids that had to be out front. From a very early stage, I knew that he was going to become one of the most iconic snowboarders ever. Right at the same time as, you know, I really got into snowboarding and my career kind of started, you know, Dan went off in another direction and picked up snowmobiling, and, you know, our careers are actually in this crazy parallel. That's what's so epic about being able to come up here and ride for a couple days. before I ever even got the chance to touch a snowmobile. It's such a pleasure to go out into the mountains and follow behind Dan on a sled because I have my mind blown at what is actually possible. We're out here using sleds for access and Travis is just pointing up at stuff that, you know, I'm just looking at him smiling. The snowmobile, it is a tool for us just trying to go free ride in the backcountry. It's been a long time since Travis and I have, have gotten to be on snow together, and yet the kid still just completely impresses me. started as a snowboarder as well you know I got into snowmobiling for a lot of the same reasons that these guys are doing this stuff today as it was just access snowmobiling just took over I started riding my snowmobile just like I was a snowboarder opening up to what you can do with these machines. You know, we're at this place where similar interests will ultimately bring us together. And here we are. Being able to travel with your friends out into the mountains, it's, it's magical. Yeah.